Hello, welcome to a computer tutoring training video. This time we're going to have a look at the 3D Revolve tool in Illustrator, creating 3D objects. This time we're looking at a wine glass. And we, for this video, you really need to look at the pen tool video to know how to create this wine glass, although I'll cover the basics here. So what I want to do is just go over to this, if I just zoom here, this uh, color section, make sure my fill color is empty. Uh, and my stroke color, if I double click on the stroke color, is a nice deep oops, red color. Let me just make it a little darker. That's fine. Just zoom back a bit one more time. That's great. Click on OK. So my stroke color is red. My fill color is empty. It's nothing. Um, I'm just going to change my stroke. Uh, the stroke weight. Yeah, one millimeter should be fine. It's not a problem at all. All right, so now I'm going to use the pen tool and start drawing my wine glass. So depending on the type of wine glass you want, whether it's a goblet or one of those thin flutes, it depends on how you draw it, obviously. So I'm going to just see how it goes. So I'm going to just click once with the uh, pen tool and just drag straight down. I'm going to, as I drag with, move my, uh, my, my line down here, just notice I'm not clicking with the mouse. I can let go of the mouse and lift my hands up. Uh, there, so let's just see if I just make it like so that about that deep, and then I sort of just adjust to see the the goblet. I, if I want to make a whiskey glass, I can make something like that big. If I want to make like a, a big goblety weird thing, um, some fancy glasses around, aren't they? Let's. I'm just going to just do a a normal glass here. There we go. That's fine. Now I want to do the stem of the glass. I'm just going to take my mouse along here, and just if I just zoom in that little bit here. You can see that I'm hovering over this anchor point. So I'm going to click once on that anchor point just there. That's good. So just zoom back. So now I've turned this into a corner point. So the next line I draw will be straight. So let's draw the stem straight down here like so. That's great. Fantastic. So the next line I want to draw is going to be a little curve with the base as it's going to curve down. So if I just click on the line hold, uh, on the anchor point at the end, hold the mouse button down and then just drag a little bit out here. Not too much. So it will just create a little bend in the base here. So there we go. Let me just decide, decide where my next one's going to go. So say it's about here. There we go. Just a little bit there. Brilliant. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit so it makes a bit more sense with this here. So I'm just going to go to my anchor point here. Just going to go down here and across here. Now make sure when I, when I um, finish my last point, which is just here, just make sure it's just to the right of the stem. So that's the stem bit. It's just to the right. Click once. That's fantastic. And then what we'll do is I'm just going to hold down the control key and click away. And that's it. That's the wine glass shape. So what I'm going to do now is go back to my selection tool and just make sure I've got my wine glass selected. And now we're going to go to the 3D Revolve tool. Now, this is a special effect. So the way that we do that is we're going to go up to effect at the top. We're going to go down to 3D and we're going to go across and down to revolve. So what I've done, I've made a little mistake here. If I just hover this over on the right hand side so you can just see um, what I've done is I've put this on the left edge. Now, what does that mean? Well, that means that the wine glass is actually on the left edge. Or it's going to rotate from the left edge. So when I go to the preview, you see it looks more like some sort of spinning top type thing rather than a line wine glass. That is easily solved. What I'm going to do is just change the left edge to a right edge. There we go. And then we can see. There's my wine glass. If I want to rotate the wine glass, I can click and hold my mouse button down on this little cube here and drag to start rotating the wine glass. See how that goes. It's fantastic. So I can adjust it. So now I can click on OK. So let me just do that at the bottom. And there's my wine glass there. Now, should I change, want to change the color of the wine glass, maybe to a green color? So what I can do is I can go over to my stroke, double click on my stroke color and adjust so it's more green the color there we go and then we can see my wine glass is green now say for instance i want to now adjust the the effect i want to maybe rotate it around another way put it upside down on the side whatever uh, well i've got to be careful because if i then go to effects 3d and revolve it comes up with this message here so it says this will apply another instance of this effect uh, i don't really want to do that because it will slow the computer down well, slow it down more than it is um, so I don't really want to do that. So it mentions there to edit the current effect, double click the name of the effect in the appearance panel. So I'm going to cancel that because I'm going to do it the proper way. So what's the appearance panel? So I just move myself out the way just down here. We can go to window and then I'm going to click on appearance. In fact, it was already up there, window and appearance. 
And just over here on the right is our appearance panel. Uh, in fact, if I just drag that out, you can see that one there. So I'm just going to drag the appearance panel here. So if I want to now change this um, effect, I can click on the 3D revolve in the appearance panel and it takes me back to my 3D revolve options. And so what I can do is I can click and I can adjust uh, the, uh, uh, the rotation here and I can see as I'm adjusting this rotation, the wine glass is adjusting as well. Great. Now, the last thing I'd like to do is showing you how you can map art onto this. So there's a map art button. Now, that allows you to map any symbol to this wine glass. So what do I mean by that? Well, if you click on map art, um, you've got the symbol you can choose here. So I'm just going to choose my gerbera just here. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I'm sure people will let me know if it's not being pronounced correctly. Uh, that's good. I'm just going to click on scale to fit so I can just try and fit it on something here. Uh, it's not going to actually work with that one here. So I'm just going to go to a couple of surfaces. So if I not that one, not that one, not that one, not that one, not that one. Ah, actually, if I go back and then I'm going to choose Gerbera just here. There we go. So there's a preview. So let me just move it just to the right here. So that here is the base. Well, I don't want the Gerbera on the base. It just looks, <laughs> it's going to be useless. So let me just uh, clear that. I'm going to clear all of that. That's good. So let me just find another surface. Ah, here we go. This it's sometimes hard to tell whether you're on the inside or the outside of the glass, but let's give it a go, shall we? So if we put in the gerbera, there you go. There's the gerbera just there. Let's just make so that's a bit wider. That's good. And that's great. That's on the outside. So when I put things in the dark gray area, it's on the far side of the glass so that I can't see it. So if I put things on the light area, then I can see it is on the, the near side of the glass here. So that's great. So I can just adjust the symbol. Uh, there we go. And when I'm finished, I can click on OK. And there's the symbol. So now what I can do is when I rotate my cup, then it takes into account the symbol. There's many other options with this 3D Revolve, uh, like the shading. I've got uh, diffuse shading if I want it just a little bit more less shiny. Uh, I'm going to change mine back to plastic shading here. Uh, also, when I go to the Map Arts option, I've got the shade artwork as well. It says slower, so it does slow things down a little bit, but it tries to take into account the shading of the artwork or the symbol. And then I click on OK, and let's click on OK again. And there we can see our lovely glass. In fact, if I just click away, yeah, that's great. So there's one things of the 3D um, tools uh, available. You need to create symbols. If you need to create a symbol of anything that's not in your symbol library, in fact, if, if I click on Window, and then go down to, and I choose, let me just uh, scroll down a little bit and then click on symbols. Let me just move myself out of the way. There we go. So window and then symbols. Here's my symbols library. If you want to add any shape to that symbols library, all you need to do is draw the shape. So I'm going to go to the polygon tool, click once, and then go to three sides to draw a triangle. Let me make it a green triangle. And then I can drag the triangle into my symbols library. And I'm just going to call that one green triangle. You can add any symbol you want. I can't spell triangle there. That's good. And I can export the type as a movie clip. That means I can import that into a program like Adobe Animate. Or if you're still using Adobe Flash, you can do that. And so you can animate that as well. Um, that's something that's pretty cool uh, to do. So click on OK. Uh, and there we go, I've got the symbol in the library. Now, the beautiful thing about this is if I change this symbol's color, so if I say, all right, I want to, it gives me a warning to, uh, that I'm going to change the symbol definition, i.e. the whole symbol. So there you go, so I click on that, let's just double click, change the color to a lighter blue, click on OK, and then it all, and I come out of that, it updates the symbol in the library. The beautiful thing is, as I can have triangles all over the shop here. There we go. Uh, and I can use that. I'll probably have another video for symbols as well, go in a bit more detail for that. Um, but uh, that's just in a re to recap. So you do a 3D object, use the pen tool. Let me just click away. Use the pen tool to draw what your 3D object should be. Let me just click away. Uh, what you need to make sure is you've got your stroke. Okay, so you have your stroke there. And then what you do is you then go to 3D, sorry, effect, 3D, revolve okay again go to preview I've done the wrong edge again go to the right edge and now I've got a lovely bowl so I can then 
rotate the image and you can map art as well to it. So stay tuned, <laughs> sounds so old fashioned, but please like the video, give it a thumbs up if you feel that you've got something out of it, really much, we really appreciate it. And please subscribe, we'll be bringing more videos on. And again, thank you so much for watching.